What are you doing here? You screamed, waiting for a reply that you were obviously not going to get. What am I doing here? Right, of course. You had no room to question your older brother. You were in the wrong. You went behind his back and it's your fault. You really have no one else to blame besides yourself. And you. Katsuki turned his head toward Todoroki and some type of defense came out of you. Regardless of your actions, Todoroki was not responsible. It was all on you and your brother had no right to speak to him that way. You stepped in front of them, facing your older brother. He looked down at you with a sneer, eyes softening just the tiniest. He noticed the little glint of protectiveness in your eyes. In fact, you thought your eyes might have looked the exact same in that moment because they both gave away the fact that you were trying to protect something. Katsuki's fist tightened, but you saw when he gave way. He took a breath and calmed himself down. What had brought upon this change in your brother? You had no idea, but you were incredibly thankful for whatever the source was. We're leaving. He stated, brazenly ignoring Todoroki. Katsuki, why in? He was not budging with this. Why was he so adamant that you not be friends with Todoroki? What was his deal? You felt like screaming out in frustration, but you channeled that into just grinding your teeth. It would be a miracle if they didn't break. Fine. Your glare hit him somewhere because his expression changed the minute you pushed past him. You walked outside, Katsuki taking his sweet time to follow you. The entire walk home was nothing short of heated. Neither of you said a word, and Katsuki refused to look at you, but you failed to notice because you refused to look at him as well. It was a silent battle, one that you both won and lost when you walked in the front door. You stormed off to your room, and Katsuki followed you. Wyan, do not stomp away from me. You blatantly ignored your brother, making a show of how much you really could care less about what he thought. But he would not give up. He followed you up the stairs and into your room. While you throw yourself on your bed, Katsuki takes a place right by your door, arms crossed, face stone steel. You refuse to look at him, but he didn't have it. He squatted down and looked up at you like he used to when you were kids. It was something you'd forgotten. It was like a foreign country you'd heard about, but never had been to. You looked down at your brother and stated coldly with your arms crossed and your eyes as hard as they'd ever been. I have nothing to say to you. Katsuki watched you for a long time. He watched you watch him. Finally, he stood, without saying a word, slammed your door shut, and scurried off to his room. Without thinking, or having planned to, you curled up on your bed, clutched one of your pillows to your chest, and cried yourself to sleep. You awoke around dinner time. Your mother was the one to get you instead of Katsuki today. At the table, she asked about Rin and Hikari and how Ali was holding up. You said they were doing fine, and that's when she slammed her hand on the table, calling you out on your lies. Really? He's doing great? She yelled. His Ali's mother just called me, saying how Ali misses you and wished you would come by to see him once in a while. You winced trying to determine what to do next. Your heart was beating so much so that you thought you might join Aoi in the hospital for heart failure. Explain. Now. You didn't know how to say you were secretly meeting up with one of the people your brother specifically told you not to and just got caught. However, staying silent was also not an option. You opted to try and change the subject, but your mother was not having it. 
Okay, you shout. I'll tell you. With a long drawl of air, you explain everything, from how you met Todoroki to today, explaining that you and Katsuki were now in a fight. Both your parents took the time to consider your story. Katsuki came down more grumpy than usual, probably because of your betrayal, and you were starting to feel sorry for how you betrayed him. Although you still did not regret becoming friends with Todoroki, you really did like him. You couldn't just come right out and say that though, obviously. Your parents watched Katsuki while you did your best to completely ignore him. Katsuki? Your mom finally said after he put his dish in the sink. What? Your parents were calm, surprisingly. Well, you're in a tripper mood today, care to explain? Katsuki looked directly at you, then looked back at your parents. You stared straight, not knowing what to expect. No. He walked past you, saying nothing. The intensity was killing you, but you refused to be the one but you refused to be the first one to apologize. Feeling he started it, he should apologize first. Plus, he was older. He should be the bigger person. Now, you knew you were acting a bit immature. However, you felt it was acceptable, seeing as how you were young. Katsuki, your mother called out again, honey. Katsuki continued walking out. Your father kept your mother from stopping him. They need to handle this on their own. We shouldn't interfere. You were shocked, to say the least, that your father rarely spoke out against your mother, meaning when he did, she usually listened. Fine. She blew her hair out of her face, then looked at you. Give him time. You felt like scoffing, but held it in, settling for rolling your eyes instead. Whatever. You went to sleep that night, thinking just that. You rolled over on your side, childish little. The next morning, you stayed in bed, scrolling your phone. Todoroki hadn't texted you, and you hadn't had the guts to text him first. Your parents let you stay home, not even trying to get you out of bed. The entire day, you spent rolling around your room, thinking about Aoi and how you should visit him, but it still hurt. It hurt thinking about him. It hurt thinking about a future without him. You spent a good amount of time crying. Another portion of your day was taken up by you sleeping with a photo of you and Todoroki took that first time you went out. Katsuki had gone back to school before you woke up but you really didn't care. You didn't want to think about how he felt. You stuffed your face in your pillow, and when your dad came knocking on your door to tell you the food was ready, you refused to eat, saying how you were just tired. He'd hesitated, you saw it, but left you alone. You knew you were acting a lot like Katsuki had when he was your age, though still couldn't find it in you to care. Is this how he felt? When he was your age and starting to act like this, although for two very different reasons, would you end up the same as him? Angry at everyone? Your thought was suffocated by sleep. However, right before you'd succumb to the night, a single image came into your head, and you knew exactly where you were going tomorrow. This has nothing to do with the actual story. I just thought it was funny because my brother had accidentally walked in. Um, so like, yeah, here's that part. You were... Okay, see you tomorrow.